the report of the committee being presented by the able chairperson i looked at the observations then i smiled i knew that is the daughter of a, of a historical to this country madam speaker when it came to the conclusion i got lost whose daughter made the conclusion madam speaker she made it very clear that the, the reason behind RAPEX was to eliminate those agencies which were parasiting on the treasury of this country. That was very... Speaker. She made it clear to this house that UCDA is not a parasite to this country. She made it very clear. That's why I saluted her. Madam Speaker, we are talking about the livelihood of people. Madam Speaker, my grandmother is watching this debate. She tried the moringa brought by this ministry. You said it failed. Your grandmother. Yes, she's there. She's okay. watching. She tried the moringa under the ministry. It failed. She tried the caterpillars under the ministry. It failed. She tried aloe vera chigaji under the ministry. It failed. Now the coffee. Isaiah, under the watchful hand of the ministry, Madam Speaker, we send Alan, them to you. Alan, then Isaiah, not our coffee. thank you very Alan, much. Alan, Isaiah, Kirabo, Mariam, uh, Mamambale. <laughs> I thank am you, coming Madam down. Speaker. What is the problem? Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me way. Madam Speaker, I'm not, I'm not talking as a coffee farmer. But I'm talking as a coffee consumer who represents coffee consumers of Maki India and Kampala at large and some other areas. As a coffee consumer, I'm now much worried about the quality of coffee which will be supplied to us in the market. Because UCDA has been ensuring quality coffee in the market in Uganda and outside Uganda. So if it is taken to the agricultural ministry, we are very worried as consumers that our much favored coffee will not be favored in the whole market because of the lackluster way of the agricultural ministry, the way they do things, not concentrating on that type of quality of the bean of coffee. So, Madam Speaker, that's why I'm not supporting the rationalization of our Uganda coffee development reduced under the supervision of the Agricultural Ministry. I beg to move, Madam Speaker. Isaac, Isaiah, Kirabo. Thank, thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right on our speaker. Kolo, you don't know about coffee. Kolo. <laughs> right on our speaker. I am a coffee farmer. I'm yes. a chairperson of a primary society. I am a board member to the Bugis Cooperative Union. I, I, I know what I am saying. And quite often, I've been coming to the office, Madam Speaker, getting permission and bringing me coffee yes to live with this parliament and i represent farmers of bugiso in the international market even two days back i've just come from touch of madam speaker but when you go to the international market madam speaker it's not about the quantity of coffee you have it's about the quality of coffee and the quality of coffee always has a regulator quality of coffee starts from the nursery bed where it is grown where it is raised up to the harvesting, up to the processing, up to the exporting. Now there must be an authority for that matter, which must ensure the control and of quality of the coffee as it starts from the nursery bed. Madam, right on our speaker and members, if you go to the statistics of coffee export and you go to the international market, Uganda is doing very well. Initially, we could have a few bags of coffee export, but by God's grace, Coffee is all over the whole of Uganda. You go to Eastern Uganda, massively they have planted. You go to Northern, they have started. Uganda needs UCDA yeah. today than even before. Because we need that regulator to ensure the quality supply of coffee. There is information. 
from another coffee grower. Uh, I'll take it to your permission if yes. my time will not. Yes. Th thank you so, so much uh, for giving in. Madam Speaker, I'm a serious coffee farmer and I worked in the coffee sector for seven years. The information I want to give you is about coffee. Coffee is a very delicate crop that the regeneration starts from planting materials up to the cup. Now, I want you to imagine what would mot motivate this coffee specialist who has been with a big experience earning 12 million agreeing to go for 1 million or 900,000 in the government of Uganda and continue to earn that and doesn't compromise the court of coffee. Madam Speaker, I'm not objecting or not opposed to the government policy of rationalization. But what I want to warn is that government should consider that, that the moment somebody is motivated to go for 900,000 when he has been earning 12 million as a senior officer, it will either bring corruption or neglect of work. Therefore, the ministry should know that we either maintain the salary yes. structure of these people to maintain their expertise. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, we shall lose the quality of coffee by negligence and by corruption. I thank you for information. Thank you. Thank you so much for the information. Thank right, you. Madam Speaker, as I conclude. Madam yes. Speaker, as I conclude. Yes. From areas we have moved, you'll always see an official from the export board of that country working together with the Minister of Agriculture and working together with the agency like UCDA. They work hand in hand. If UCDA had maybe some inadequacies or some challenges, I believe if they had so, what could be better is to work on the challenges UCDA has. But most of them you will discover that from limited funding, government gives it. Thank because you. some of those exports, they don't go. So, so I could support the minority report Thank on you. behalf of the people of Dadili East, the people of Suronko, the people of Giswazi region. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, and for the opportunity, because the youths of Buganda, and most especially those of Luwelo, would feel cheated if you had not given me the opportunity. Madam Speaker, UCDA should remain independent and not be rationalized because of, because of the reasons that your person stated well yesterday in the report. Like, we all know and notice that it contributes a lot, actually doubles the revenue it sends to the consolidated fund than the budget it is allocated of about 42 billions. So it contributes uh, about 82 billions, which doubles the budget allocated to it. And Madam Speaker and members, there are issues that affect farmers in UCDA. Let's try to work on those issues so that we sustain our farmers, most especially the youths who are employed by UCDA, and they are about 12.5 million people. So, right, Honorable Thank Speaker, you. of late coffee, a kilogram of coffee is about 13,000. Because of the quality assurance UCD has put in place Thank for our you. people. Thank you so Maria. much. Thank you, Right Honorable. I stand here to say that UCDA should remain. It shouldn't be dissolved. I come from a region that grows coffee. I am a coffee farmer myself. 80% of my people, the ones I represent, grow coffee. UCDA has helped and given an enabling environment for the farmers in my district to grow coffee. They have trained them. They have helped them to know how to plant coffee better. They have helped them in harvesting coffee so that when their coffee is sent on the market, it's of good quality. Now, if UCDA is dissolved, we are going to reverse all those gains. I want to, second, I want to say that I'm siding with the members of parliament who are saying that UCDA should not be dissolved. Honorable Minister, we are debating here, but we are representing millions of Ugandans who are surviving because of coffee. I grow...
Kone, because of how coffee helped my parents Kone, to pay for me school fees. Kone, there are many children out there who are Kone, surviving because of coffee. Kone, coffee Development Authority should not be dissolved. Kone. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the chairperson for the report. The report clearly gave the role of UDCA, among which was that market standards are fulfilled. It also said it, it provides timely prices on a daily basis. Right Honorable Speaker, if at all, the, the chairperson also indicated that when UDC, that UDCA has UCDA has no conflicting roles with Maif. Now, if at all, she gave all those good compliments to UDCA, UCDA, then why did the conclusion become the way it came? Reasonable speaker, Bugisu, if you, if, you, if you remove UDCA, it's like you are draining the blood of the whole of Bugisu because they depend thank on you, coffee. You. I rightly want to side with the minority report which says that 